All right, what's going on everybody? In today's video, we are going to be talking about an anti-detect browser tool called Logi. Let's get right into it. All right, so if you're not familiar with anti-detect browsers, all right, uh, they are basically specific browsers where you can create instances um it's a software where you can create browser instances uh that are basically unique they are you can they have different fingerprint markers and stuff like that in them so here it explains it's the most powerful multi-login browser with the best anti-detect and anti-browser fingerprinting systems you can create multiple pro uh, profiles and log into any sites using multiple accounts at the same time with the click of a button it is a must-have tool for growth marketers, social media, social marketers, lead marketers, and advertisers. All right, so um, anti-detect browsers are very important. There are a lot of different ones to choose from. So I have a few different other ones that maybe I'll talk about in future videos. Maybe I, you know, we'll see. But uh, Logi is one that is actually listed on AppSumo for a lifetime deal, which actually made it stand out for me because a lot of them you have to pay. Uh, a substantial amount of money per month and you're limited for the amount of browsers profiles you can have so i saw that logi you could have basically if we scroll down you can have so you can see on uh, alternative to ads power go go login multi-login so if we look at some of these i'll pull them up in a second but uh in the lifetime deal you get 12 plus anti browser fingerprinting technologies create unlimited accounts and profiles share profiles with one click 100 percent standard compliant and support for proxies of course and you get unlimited yeah unlimited accounts right so that's very very unique um so if i go to ads power go login multi-login these are just some of the industry standards. Multi login, go login, ads power. There's some other ones as well. Um, some that I specifically use, but you can see go uh, multi login right here, which is kind of the top competitor in this space, is 99. What is this? Pounds uh, um, per month for solo. Um, Usually it's US. I don't know. I don't know if they raise their prices or maybe picking me up from a different location for some reason. I don't know. But anyways, you can see the pricing here. Boom for solo, and then two two hundred bucks for team, three hundred or four hundred bucks for scale. And this is pounds or something like this. So it's even more US. Um, you can see. Hey, let's see how much do we get for browser profiles. We get a hundred. Save profiles for a hundred bucks, so it's not bad. Three hundred for two hundred or two hundred bucks per month, and a thousand for four hundred bucks per month. So I mean, to be honest, um, if you are serious about, you know, if you're running like ads at a very high level for multiple e-commerce brands or whatever the case may be, you have multiple Facebook accounts, business managers, etc. Whatever you're doing, uh, agency accounts. Something like multi-level is probably your best bet. Multi-level, go login. So if you look at go login, go to pricing. You can see the plans right here: professional for twenty-five bucks, business for fifty bucks, enterprise one hundred bucks, one hundred and fifty for custom browser profiles: a hundred, three hundred, thousand, two thousand, and you can scale these up. So technically, you get better bang for your buck for go login. Um, can just look at the technicals and the features there's reviews online etc but this isn't a comparison between the two tools and then ads power it's actually like like I, I unless i think you can use google translate to translate this but as you can see it's in chinese but um so i'm not even gonna worry about that but uh so yeah i saw this tool a long time ago not too long probably a couple of months ago i picked it up and I thought, hey, for 129 bucks, or if you have AppSumo it, or AppSumo Plus, it's actually only 100 bucks, 99 bucks. Uh, you can pick this tool up, get unlimited profiles. Interesting. Ah, actually, so 
Optimal plus, plus you get 14 anti-detect browser fingerprinting features and all this stuff. So you actually get even more for less with AppSumo Plus. Now, when I bought this, I actually didn't have AppSumo Plus at the time. So I'm actually probably going to refund this after this video and then get this uh, get this one. And then I'll have 30 bucks, 30 bucks as well as AppSumo credits. But if we look here, we can see 23 reviews, 4.5 taco reviews on this one. Same, well, same, same reviews, I guess. And, uh, so, I mean, decent review uh, on its current state. It's not worth it. So, there are some negative reviews, bad ex user experience. So, I'll dive into this because, uh, you know, I've used all pretty much all the top anti-browser tools. So, I'll, le I'll let you know if this is worth it um, and, yeah, what to kind of expect for this tool. So, here's the actual website. It's logi.in. Uh, so, um, I was... You can check it out on here. There's like an explainer video and kind of explain stuff. But uh, if you want the best deal, you should buy it from AppSumo, which I'll leave a link in the description below for that. Um, we can see here, they just kind of just go over the tool, run ads for multiple accounts, do multi-marketing securely, don't waste money on slow VPNs, etc. So independent cookies language so you can see all the different um, fingerprint technology they have here um, if you're familiar with anti-detect browsers you can kind of just check things out see how that compares to tools like multi-log and etc but also too like when i first saw this i thought wow unlimited accounts for 100 bucks like it's really a no-brainer because you're saving so much money right you can see the pricing here for these tools and i'll tell you oh yeah you can i'm not gonna scroll through this whole thing i will but um um monthly payment a year so yeah that's why they don't even have the lifetime deal on their website they only have a yearly or monthly um so anyways let me just exit out that um and let me actually just pull up logi so logi obviously is a desktop app right here it's not cloud-based or anything like that but uh once you buy it as well you do get access they give like some bonuses i'm not going to go through those at the moment but they give like certain uh like social media guides and a few other different things I, they may give like a one two other tool i can't fully remember but um so they do give some bonuses so but anyways let's just look so on the left here we have options so we have profiles and groups so i was i everything i haven't set anything up like i still have all my uh all my actual infrastructure for managing like multiple Facebook ad accounts and all that stuff, uh, advertising accounts, agency accounts, etc. in my other tools that I use. But I was te wa test and I'll show you why basically, because um, like I still have this tool. It's not like I refunded it or anything like that because I, I've seen I've, that people pose certain questions and the, the team says that they're working on it. So I'm hopeful for the future and hopefully they put some work into this, but, but let's just dive into it and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. So uh, these are just groups. So you can add basically groups. You can add profiles to specific groups. So I just created some test ones with different social names. Um, profiles, uh, you can easily just create a new profile. You can enter a name, description if you want. You can choose a group. Uh, you can enter the proxy proxy information. All right, this is optional, so you can do separated data or proxy string. So HTTP, HTTPS, SOX five or SOX four. Enter host, port, username, password. All right, then you can manage fingerprint, user agent setup optional. Enter user agent, time zone, geolocation, change display resolution. 
Disable canvas fingerprints, block font fingerprint, prevent IP leak through WebRTC. Disable WebGL fingerprint, disable WebRTC, block auto audio contact fingerprint. Say use default. Um, for the sake of this video, I won't mess with any of this stuff, but uh, there may potentially, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't fully remember. Um, I know when I was using multi login, I was watching their videos on set, like back in the day on how to set everything up. There actually are some tutorials here, so we'll check out those in a second. But um, they they have a specific configuration that works best in their app. Um, so it may be similar in this, but uh, just in terms of remaining anonymous. So I just created this new profile. You can see I can just create as many as I wanted, or you can import profiles. Basically, if you had profiles from other um, anti-browse detect browsers, you could potentially export those and then import them, um, I believe. All right, you can show, decide how much entries you want to see per page if you have a bunch. All right, but uh, we'll dive into the support and tutorials in just a second. But let's see. So we can here on the actions we have edit, export, extensions, delete. All right, so we have our name. We can open it, which we'll do in a second. We see where it's created. Last, see when it was last opened. See what group, all that good stuff. So if we wanted to edit it, we could still edit it, change proxy, or change some of the settings. We could export it if we want, right? And it would save that. And then we can add extensions. So this is like the main thing that basically, like all in all, like if you look at this tool and the the, the different settings and whatnot, I uh, I don't. It's not as good as multi login or go login or one of these tools. It's just not. It's really not. You'll see what I'm saying in a second with the, the user interface. Uh, the browser they use, like the, the other browsers, uh, like the other anti-detect browsers, such as Multilog and GoLogin, they're using uh, their own version of basically Chromium. Uh, it's custom, like a custom browser of Chromium, which looks exactly like Google Chrome because Cr Google Chrome was built on Chromium, right? So they have their own version and they built it specifically. Now, Logi built their own little browser, but uh, it's really, to be frank, it's, it's a lot uglier and it's just not as, nowhere near as good as Chromium, like I'll show you in a second. But not only that, like, let me see. So here's a few. Um, this is one that I added some extensions to. So I just added some basic extensions from, I don't even use these anymore, but I added these because you have to, the way you add it, these extensions is you have to add extension and then you have to choose a, the folder on your uh, desktop, right? And it's the same way you would add an extension to um, Google Chrome, as, like through developer options. You have to open it through the, you have to add the folder on your desktop and then add it that way. You can't add it in the Google Chrome store. And I'll show you why that sucks in a second. So let me just open up this browser here and let me just make sure everything is on the screen so you guys can see. Right. Okay. So here is what the browser looks like. All right, let me just make it a bit smaller for you guys. You can see the top. Now it's not completely terrible or ugly. Um, it's definitely not the best. You like it's it is a lot worse. Like they have like just look at it. Right? This is uh like here is a Google Here's like here. This is similar to what, um, besides all these extensions and all this stuff, like this is my Google Chrome, but, um, this is exactly what it would look like on a, uh, on a anti browser, like multi login or this or that. That's what the browser looks like. Right. But on Logi, it looks like this. It's just 
a lot uglier. Um, you'll see like everything. Here's the setting. Like it's just so here's settings. It's just I don't even know how what it's built on. Um, like well, it's their own browser. I don't know if it's completely custom built or if they built it upon something. I don't know, but it's just so it's just not good. Like that's plain and simple. It's really just not good. Now, the the reason I still have this tool and the the potential benefit you could use from it, if you need to use extensions, Chrome extensions, even though I added those extensions like you saw before, currently there is no place, there is no setting like for extensions. Um, it's basically like the extension is supposed to be installed on this browser and some extensions the thing is like you need to like if you look at google chrome and typical extensions um if i show you here you'll see like some of these extensions i need to like if we look at vidyard i have to click vidyard well sometimes vidyard may have, like there may be an option to set it up so it can like appear or whatever like loom uh sometimes uh Sometimes Loom like a, has a little button here, I believe. But either way, you have to click on. Typically, like you have to click on the extension. A lot of extensions you have to click up here for them to activate. So with this, at least from now, maybe maybe they've updated it since since and because uh, I looked into this and looked at their support center and someone was asking about this and they said, oh, we're working on it, blah 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 blah. But it doesn't. From what I can tell, it doesn't look. It looks the exact same. Plus, I mean, I have they, I haven't updated. There's been no update, at least that I know of, for Logi. We'll check it out in a second. But, um, so, like the only way the the extension can work is if it's like there's certain extensions where just it's you don't have to click up there, right? So those extensions you could potentially use, not to its full extent a lot of the time, but. Um, but you could potentially use, but a lot of extensions where you have to click up here, you, ju you just can't use them. So that's like the major, major downfall in my opinion. Obviously, like I can look past this ugly browser, like I can get used to it. It's not the worst thing. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried typically when using anti-detect browsers, how well the browser looks. I mean, obviously it's a plus, but I understand that if I'm getting, you know, insane amount of bang for my buck, meaning unlimited profiles and whatnot. And like a D it's like, it's, it seems like it's decent. It's definitely not on multi-level or go hot, go login level. But, uh, um, you know, like I could look past this, but the whole extension thing, like a lot of times I use different profiles, um, for anti-detect purposes and I need extensions for certain things, right? There's, we don't just use anti-detect browsers for managing multiple Facebook ad accounts and, you know, TikTok ad accounts and whatnot. Um, we use them for a few different other things, but even still like there's, it's just like you need extensions, right? So that's the main thing. Like, and keep in mind, I still fully haven't set up certain systems. Like I, I literally haven't even really used this tool yet. And let me just, uh, make it so you guys can see the whole, whole tool, what it looks like. But, um, so I may definitely find certain specific use cases where I don't need to worry about that. And I can just scale it, which that's kind of what my bet is in the short term until they fix fix that. I think I do have a few different things that we've been working on that I was kind of planning on setting up an infrastructure within login to scale with like insane amount of profiles because I don't have to worry about the profiles. And you know, also if I don't have to, if it's if I don't have to rely on those specific extensions, then it could be possible as long as the proc like the fingerprinting detect isn't like complete completely terrible, which I mean, I don't think it is. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, but also at the same time, I haven't had any added any proxies in here and I also haven't signed into any accounts on literally anything. So right now these are just a whole bunch of blank profiles, but, um, you know, if that, if something changes in the future, maybe I'll make a video updating you guys, but this is just an overview. 
Now let's just click on support and tutorials. Tutorials. With Clavio, there's a new way to grow. The Clavio customer right, platform so looks unifies like all tutorials. your data in one place. If you're an inter Okay, so anti detect, you can see they have their tutorials on their YouTube. So at least they have like a, a decent library of tutorials. Um, an overview, they have how to download, install, create multiple profiles, how to add extensions. So this is like obviously you can see I was watching this one, and this is the one that I click on it. I believe they even some people commented. Load. While that's loading, here is the support center, uh, knowledge base. Okay, so this the the team that built this to the logi is called Tech Nick Force. They also have a bunch of uh, different tools like Mighty Memes, Pinflux, etc. So here's logi how to download and install logi, create how to add an extension on logi. Okay, so this just enters I was talking about adding Grammarly, and it just links to these videos. So the, the knowledge base, the best bet is these YouTube videos, which kind of explain things. So you can't go to the Chrome store and add stuff like you can with a normal Chrome. Yeah, you can see he downloads it. And you and will see that the like extension... I showed you. You have to make sure you turn it on. And see for this for Grammarly, one of those ones you'll see. Create a new one. That Grammarly pops up right here automatically. They don't have to click up here. All right, so certain extensions potentially could work, but a lot don't. Um. I don't know why I can't see the. Oh, here's the comments. I added an extension, but it doesn't show on the toolbar, so I cannot activate it. Can you assist? This was four months ago. We have eight replies. Let's see what they are. Hi, we are very sorry. Extension support is currently in beta mode. We are trying to make them uh, working fully with our future version of the app. Okay, so this will be available in the future. Is this a projected time? Is there a projected time frame? No strict time frame, but it will not be a long time. Um, okay, thank you. This is four months ago. Any update on time line frame for new extensions updates? Thanks. Any updates here? Thanks. I appreciate it. It's been a while now. The extension's still not working, and my accounts rely on extensions. So very, very uh, understandable. Like this is. For a lot of people and then any updates here this is one month he commented uh, commented and then he just said see this here one month ago i have extension that spoofed my location it's added to the profile but i don't see where to activate it six months ago i've installed a few extensions but don't see how to access them since we're in beta i asked that Question about extension updates and no response for months. I see you put out new products, but don't respond or update this. Hi, we are planning on updating Logi regularly. No plans to support Chrome extensions and Logi. Report said a few months ago that it was in development and will be rolled out shortly, literally on this thread. So, you know, you see the, 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 Threads there and do you know take that information how you will uh, how you may um, it seems like I don't know if it's in development or whatever the case may be at least at the moment if you if you rely on specific extensions that you need to activate from the toolbar for your accounts Logi is not something that 
would benefit you basically unless you are using it for other purposes or you could set up other purposes or if you just want to get it just in case you can't get it in the future if it goes off AppSumo, which it's been on there for a while and typically there's a countdown so at least at the moment i don't know but uh so you know if that's the case then you know you don't need to get it but you could also just get it and wait i think you have 60 days with all AppSumo tools so in 60 days from now, if they don't make any updates and you need it, then you could put, refund it. Or if you don't need any of that, or if you think, hey, this Logi thing seems cool, I think it'd be good to have regardless. That's kind of where I'm in. I'm like, hmm, I'll take it and, you know, I'll kind of see if they update it. Um, then, like I said, I'll, I'm leaving links in the description to get this uh, tool. Like, it's... It's an okay tool. I'm not going to say it's a great tool. I'm not going to say it's a bad tool at the moment. There, When I first got it, I didn't expect that extension thing. So this video hopefully will inform you before you buy it just in case you need that. Um, and hopefully it helps you out a bit. But other than that, guys, if you have any questions about Logi or any other tools you want me to review or uh, any other um, anti-detect browsy to browser tools such as go high or go login um multi-login etc let me know in the comments down below guys i upload videos every single day on this youtube account so make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications if you want to see more videos like this more honest reviews giving you my honest feedback about different tools in the marketplace as well as just a bunch of different business growth strategies like we don't just post tool reviews and software reviews that's just one aspect we post a lot of different value i update you guys every single day with different stuff i'm working on so you guys can stay up to date with market trends and things that are changing and stay on the cutting edge of all this stuff we also have a free group of like-minded entrepreneurs and business owners, course creators, co coaches, consultants, etc., marketing agencies, and that's stridecommunity.com. So go to stridecommunity.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description for that. And all you have to do is just opt in and then you'll get instant access to all our free communities on Facebook, uh, Facebook group, as well as Discord, WhatsApp, Telegram, etc. And if you want extra help scaling your business and uh, exact roadmap and business engine a turnkey solution with uh us holding your hand each step of the way with uh you know coaching then you can book a call with me or my team at executivestride.com forward slash quiz get acquainted with some more of our videos on this youtube channel as well as check out our website our resources our blog you know and if it looks like something that we can help you out with for your particular business then book a call fill out a quiz get a price and we'll see if it's a good fit or not all right guys and that's pretty much it for this video guys like i said we upload every single day so i will see you in tomorrow's video and make sure to keep hustling make sure to keep working your butt off on your business and growing every single day and as always guys like i said my name is josh pocock and keep on uh, hustling and make sure to accelerate your stride take care Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jacob Snitman. I'm the founder and CEO of ABC Marketing Solutions and a broker within the Burke Financial Mortgage Group. Now, for anyone who's worked in either of my industries, I'm sure you're very familiar with how stressful things can be, how competitive the market is, and quite frankly, how hard it is to generate some new business for yourself. So that being said, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Josh and his team for being able to do exactly that. I originally employed their team actually back in quarter four of 2020 uh, to scale both of my businesses. And since the first week of campaigns after we've onboarded, they've consistently been able to achieve at least 10 booked appointments on my calendar for each of my businesses every single week for the last six months. Now, not only has this completely scaled my revenue, but it's also a help me better service my clients by giving them more time to focus on their individual needs and B, focus on other parts of my business knowing that my lead generation is being completely taken care of and in good, good hands. 
two other really cool things I wanted to point out is they give you access to these two to these amazing tools. One is the client acquisition code and the other is the stride accelerated training. And both of these were absolutely what I would define as critical components in helping me scale my business. If you're looking to crush your business goals this year, I would really, really recommend getting in contact with Josh and seeing how him and his team can help you as well. Hi, my name is Franco and I run a marketing agency. I don't usually do testimonials for people, but Josh has and his team at Executive Stride have taken it upon themselves to basically outwork and outperform every single lead generation firm that I've worked with in the past. Now, most of my clientele is high ticket, very high ticket. And uh, not only has he been able to generate me a tremendous amount of additional income monthly, but him and his team are super supportive and they basically hand you leads on a silver platter. Now, a lot of agencies say that they do this, but to put it into executive action and to make that action transferable to you so that you do the easy work and sell them, as long as you're a good salesperson, you should have no issues uh, with these leads that Executive Strat is providing you. So as far as I'm concerned, they're the best locally and the best uh, lead generation firm that I've personally worked with in the past and in the future, because I'm not going nowhere. I'm with Executive Stride. Thank you so much, Josh. This is for you, buddy. Hey, Jacob here. Just want to talk a little bit about Executive Stride. Uh, so I actually own an advertising agency. We mostly target e-commerce owners to help them grow their businesses. So uh, beforehand I was doing email marketing mostly, but now I'm also adding LinkedIn with it. And after signing up with Josh and Executive Stride, uh, we really, uh, things just like took off, um, especially with the leads coming in, the messages and meetings actually being booked, qualified meetings being booked. Um, he helped us kind of develop our sales process and offer a bit more as well. But just the platform and their overall experience with with LinkedIn and actually booking meetings and getting leads is, is fantastic. It actually, like uh, we have a small team. I actually had too much coming in. I had to reel it back a little bit, which is a good problem to have. So um, anyway, overall great experience. Would highly recommend Josh and Executive Stride. So if you're thinking about taking the leap, go ahead and do it and join the team of winners. Let's get it. Hey, my name is Bharat and I run a marketing agency. Josh and his team at Executive Stride have helped me tremendously with their LinkedIn automation program and leads machine. In the first two weeks, I've got 15 booked appointments and closed three deals already. When it comes to lead generation and sales process optimization, Josh and his team at Executive Stride are the best. If you are looking to maximize your ROI and take your business to the next level, I highly recommend Executive Stride. Hello, this is my testimonial for Josh. I'm Cass and Josh is very knowledgeable when it comes to lead generation and creating sales process. In fact, in the first three weeks of working with him, Josh and his team basically brought me and generated me over 37 booked appointments and 30 new clients which is mind blowing and I would definitely recommend working with uh, Josh and his team at Executive Stride. If you are looking to scale your business, don't hesitate to contact him. Thank you so much and looking forward to working with you further. Bye. Guys, I have to give a huge shout out to Josh Bocock and his team. These guys completely changed my business. Um, I came into the industry, I started this company called Real to Media Leads and like starting it up it was really difficult i didn't know how to get clients i was cold calling <laughs> people and i was making like 2k a month uh doing this i had like two clients uh, two realtors and as soon as these guys jumped on board uh they set me up with this linkedin program and it's just been on fire for us ever since like it's been booking us like meetings every single week week after week after week and like it's it's helped me scale my business to now over 20k per month and uh i have to give a huge shout out to these guys they're seriously killing it and uh if you're looking for some seriously powerful leads like people that are on the call with you that want your service like they, these guys know how to target them and get them for you so huge shout out to them and uh if, if you're not working with josh i don't know what you're doing <laughs> Hey there, Ivan Cuenca here and I just want to record this quick video to recommend uh, Josh and his team. Uh, I've been working with them the last couple of weeks and well, I tried some programs, some uh, courses in the past but uh, didn't get any results. Uh, so with Josh, 
in just a matter of, uh, of a, a couple of weeks, I was able to land some, some clients. I was able to land qualified leads with his program, quite the client acquisition codebook and the executive strike accelerator training. Uh, well, uh, as I mentioned before, I tried. Uh, some things in the past but didn't get any result but with them just a matter of weeks I land uh, qualified leads and therefore I, I land some clients at the end you know it's about uh, numbers it's a numbers game but you have to have the right numbers the right qualified leads so that way you can have more sales so yeah I totally recommend uh, Josh and his team and uh, you won't regret working with them and yeah thank you very much Hey, I'm Harshal. I have been working with Josh and his team at Executive Stripe for three weeks now. Since then, we have able to book 35 quality leads and close 11 deals by using their LinkedIn system. They also helping me with advanced sales and systems building strategies to take to or to scale my business to the next level. If you are looking for someone who books more leads for your business, then I am highly recommended Josh and his executive strike, they will get your job done.